Hey guys, and welcome to Friday. Just got back home from work. Came home to a package in this white envelope, which probably means it's from Tor. Uh, I'm really not sure what it is, so I suppose I'll open it up real quick with you guys so we can find out together. It does say, I love when it's, I love when they do this, it says, The Reading Roads under my name. It says Chris Rhodes and then The Reading Roads and then the address. That's always fun. I am going to open this real quick and then probably just go read. I have about about two hours or so, a little bit, a little bit more than two hours before I need to go get Giselle from work because she gets off around eight or so and I kind of just want to relax, really kind of, I don't know, I was going to do a couple things but I just kind of want to just sit and relax and read. So that's what I'm going to do for the next couple hours uh, until I have to go get her. So let's open this together. Uh, like I said, I have no idea what it is, but I'm hoping it's something awesome. So let's see. Oh, okay. Well, this is not tour like I thought it was. It is uh, FSG. And this is a book that I've already have actually. It's just this is the finished copy of it. That's cool. So then, yeah, they, I mean, they've been sending me the finished copy of stuff like uh, this is the publisher of Universal Harvester. Speaking of which, I'm going to do that. Finally, do the giveaway winners for that giveaway. I kind of forgot about it, but I needed to do the giveaway winners for that because I, I was like back in February. Whoops. Anyway, so now I have two copies of this. This is Void Star by Zachary Mason. This is uh, a science fiction, kind of literary science fiction kind of thing. I've heard some good things about it so far. Uh, I mean, I've heard a couple people talk about it already, and they seem to be enjoying it. Uh, it's, kinda, it's got a really cool cover. I really like the cover a lot. So, you may remember me opening this before from the ARC haul that I did where I hauled it on my, other book, on my booktube channel. But just in case you didn't see that, this book is about, uh, it's set in a distant but recognizable future where technology has become so advanced it is nearly incomprehensible to the average user. Cityscapes have filled with self-driving cars and drones and life expectancy for those wealthy enough to afford annual treatments has increased dramatically. Climate change and global economic forces have reshaped society and the city of San Francisco has become a fortress of cosmopolitan wealth surrounded by sprawling maze-like favelas of the poor and displaced. Introduces us to a trio of characters who navigate this world. Irina is a no-nonsense woman with an artificially enhanced memory who works as a liaison between her wealthy clients and their AIs. Kern is an urban samurai of sorts, leading an ascetic existence in the heart of the favelas and scraping by as a thug for hire. And Thales is the brilliant son of a recently assassinated Brazilian politician. Soon all three are drawn into a conspiracy involving artificial intelligence, stolen memories, and a shadowy tech magnet that will have them crisscrossing the globe and crossing each other in search of the truth. So, cool beans. Uh, <laughs> sounds like fun. Uh, this one comes out on the 11th, I believe, for uh, April 11th. So I, it is in my plan to read this in the next couple weeks uh, to try to get it done, try to get it read and a review for it done by the release date. We'll see how that goes. I'm obviously pretty behind on stuff. This weekend is going to be a, a pretty big weekend of reading for me and catching up on reviews, I believe, kind of on booktube stuff in general because of the sort of week, week and a half-ish long break that I kind of took from really making videos because uh, at first I was taking a pretty decent break for movie watching and then a pretty decent break because I kind of got discouraged because of messing up the interview, but now like I feel a lot more motivated now, and so I'm finally getting back into doing all the reviews that I have to catch up on, and plus other special videos that I've been wanting to make and just haven't yet. I've mentioned that I was going to be making them like uh, earlier this month, like in at the beginning of the month, the Patreon video and stuff, and just I mean having all these uh, uh, setbacks and where I want to where I want to actually be. But this weekend will hopefully be some nice catching up. I feel very motivated, like I said. So that's cool. This one, I guess I will do a another giveaway of. Hopefully I won't forget about it again like I did with Universe Harvester. Like I said, this weekend also I'm going to probably post a, a giveaway winner finally for that and for Crossroads of Canopy, which I had posted basically at the same time. I just keep forgetting to actually pick winners. I don't want to get two copies of something like this. I'm, I mean, I might as well not keep that unless it's a book I really, really want to have two copies of, uh, hardcover and a paperback. So anyway. That's that. That's cool. I'm excited. Uh, I was kind of hoping for something that I didn't already have because I'm, I'm waiting on a certain something. I don't think it's going to come at this point. I'm not really sure what to do about it because uh, this one publicist that I've been talking to, I mean, she sent me stuff before and she sent me stuff usually pretty on time and like regularly and stuff. But there's this one book for some reason, like she sent me other stuff and I keep being like, oh, hey, uh, so okay, would, you still be, would you still be able to send me this other book? 
uh, I, that I haven't, so you haven't been able to send me to me yet. And she's like, oh yeah, sure, I'll send it to you. I've done that, I had to do that like three times now, and I'm just, I'm not sure what to do, if I should just let it go and just accept that I'm not going to get the book, or keep nudging it, I don't know. The, one of the reviews I'm doing this weekend, uh, I'm going to be sending it to that publicist uh, to be like, hey, here's my review for this book that you sent me, and maybe I'll nudge again, I don't know, we'll see. Maybe I'll just leave it alone. I really would like to read the book, but anyway, that's it. I'm going to go relax for a little bit before I before I drive up to get Giselle. So, I kind of messed up. I It's much later. Giselle is back from work, and she's actually uh, in bed. She had a long day uh, at work, and just felt really tired, so she went pretty much directly to sleep. Uh, it's kind of a parallel to what I did earlier. I was, I, well, I, I wanted to read, like I said, so I did start reading, and then I was like feeling kind of uncomfortable sitting here and reading, so I, I, and I didn't really feel like sitting on the couch or sitting on the chair and reading, so I like, I was like, oh, I'm just gonna sit in bed and read, and I fell asleep without setting an alarm, and also my phone was on silent. Like completely silent, like no no vibrating or no vibrating or anything, just completely silent. I woke up at a not so great time and realized that Giselle had tried to call me a bunch of times. She had tried to text me a bunch of times, and obviously I didn't answer because my phone was on silent. And so I was very late in picking her up, but uh, she's she's back now. And luckily, I didn't wake up too late. Like I didn't wake up at like midnight or something, and be like, crap, where's Giselle, and why, oh my gosh, there's a bunch of messages on my phone, and oh my gosh, where is she, because, I mean, she would have found a way home at that point, like, she could have gotten someone to take her home, like, from work or whatever, but, obviously, it's not ideal, and I just, I felt really, 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 really bad that I did that, but, in my defense, it doesn't really happen at all, uh, and I'm never really late to picking her up, ever, and I'm never going to do it again. <laughs> uh, definitely not going to let that happen again. So basically, I slept through picking her up from work. It's not as bad as it could have been, but it's still pretty bad. Still pretty bad. So I, I'm, I'm very sorry <laughs> to her. I, I like apologize like a million times. And now it's, it's fine. But we're definitely not going to let that happen again. Uh, especially now that she's going to be working later nights. Uh, you have to be more aware of what I'm doing. So, anyway, I think that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.